Welcome to Bits and Glory presents a one minute review where I try to review video game in as close to a minute as possible. So without any further ado, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard is a first person survival horror game developed and published by Capcom released worldwide on January 24th of 2017. Resident Evil 7 is the first full-length mainline RE game to use the RE engine. In RE 7, you control Ethan Winters who is on the search for his missing wife down in the bayou. He stumbles upon the Baker's residence and thus the horror unfolds. The switch to first person was a big and bold move for the historic survival horror franchise. To me, a bold move was much needed for the somewhat stale franchise after a lackluster action slog in that of RE 6. RE 7 is a truly frightening and engaging experience featuring many scares, intimidating enemies and that of the molded and the Baker family, and numerous horror tropes and shoutouts to legendary horror franchises. The Baker residence harkens back to the days of the Spencer Mansion while the second half of the game becomes a bit more linear and action oriented but varies the environments well enough to keep things fresh. The graphics, soundtrack, and controls are on point. The difficulty varies from pretty easy slash casual up to almost sadistic at times on the Madhouse difficulty. This fresh take on the RE franchise was a breath of fresh air, held back by some minor grievances such as the aforementioned linearity of the second half of the game and some non-skippable cutscenes. The bottom line, Resident Evil became scary again, and fun. Resident Evil 7 gets an 8.5 out of 10 and I'm eagerly anticipating the upcoming release of RE8.